Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 40. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Alright, so welcome back to another episode. Today is... Special Series 23, the Special Machine Festival. This is a hidden event that we unlocked. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. You can't tell, but like, wow, let's go. <laughs> um, so we have, by the looks of it, five bikes. Um, and over the course of the events, we've gotten special bikes. But obviously, I haven't kept track of how many there are. And this sort of confirms there are five of them. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go in order, based on the fact that there are five events, we're going to use five bikes. So uh, we're going to start out with the 7 Honda CB1000 RRW Suzuka 8 Hours. I think these are all Suzuka 8 Hours, to be honest. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to go through in order. We're going to do, this episode is going to be Twin Ring and New York. Next episode is going to be Circuit of Valencia and Grand Valley. And then the final episode is going to be just Suzuka. So uh, let's start with the Twin Ring then. Right, so we are here at the Twin Ring Motegi circuit. We've uh, equipped ourselves with some hard tires, so uh, should last for the entire race. And here we go. Let's do this. So obviously we have special rider gear for each one of these as well as um, a special bike too. Very nice. Obviously looking for just ahead of that 150 board for our breaking point. Oh, got a little bit wide there. Hopefully we can get a good race today. A little bit wide through there. Not too much of a problem though. These are obviously going to be like extremely long endurance events. Very nice. And this time as well, we've got a total time counter in the corner. So we won't be able to see whether our last lap was our best lap. We'll just have to uh, double check when it updates that it's changed. Very nice. Average is a bike per three laps. Uh, bearing in mind we're six seconds behind, we're aiming for probably about half a second per lap would be ideal to gain. And surprisingly, we are a lot quicker than the Suzuki. A whole lot quicker. Well, actually, maybe not a whole lot quicker. I think we're about the same time. I thought we were quicker because we were getting through that section at 148. But uh, it took a lot longer to get down the straight than I thought. Very nice. Oh no, we've fallen off. No! That's a huge amount of time lost. Hopefully we don't fall down too much. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Perfect. It's very dark in my room today. It's been raining literally all day, all morning. There we go. That was an okay corner. 
Definitely lost a little bit of time, but not too much. Come on, we need to get more speed. We are gaining time slowly, so it's not a huge problem. It's if we get to lap 8 and we're still at this distance, then that's a massive worry. And as well, these races need to be won. We can't do a, a win 3, get 2nd on 2. You have to win these. I presume you get like some other special bikes out of these, but like special bikes that are just crazy ridiculous. Like that would be cool. Some like over the top stupid bikes. Oh come on, you pulled into my driving line and now you've taken off so much speed from me. Literally used me as your accelerator pedal. Unbelievable. And then I lose so much speed because of not having the right lines. Because of you. Move out of my way. Though, to be fair, second place is actually gaining on first place, so it's not like I'm losing a lot of time to first, because I'm still gaining time to first place. It's just second place is also gaining time to first place. That is ridiculous. Driving into my bike. I had plenty of space on the inside. Awesome, 5.5 seconds. Now that we have a clear runway, I mean, I say runway like it's an airport, it's not. But we have a clear amount of track in front of us that we shouldn't have to worry about a bike trying to ruin our race. Very nice, good start so far. Where was the brakes then? I know I'm on hard tires, but like, where was my braking force? Why was there none? At least I don't have to worry about stupid AI cutting me up on the inside again. We do have to bear in mind though that uh, this is like one shot. There's no pit stops, there's no strategies to try and gain some time like you can in Gran Turismo. Which I have done plenty of times by the way. Very nice. Two point one seconds, which is around about two seconds faster than the last lap at that section. I like this bike a lot. I think all of the bikes in this special series are uh, pretty much identical. It's just a uh, different rider gear and design, but I think performance-wise, they're the same. None of them actually have like exact performance numbers, so I would presume they are very similar then. Nice. We got the number 7 on this bike. That's pretty sick. That is my lucky number. If I wasn't... Oh, Jesus, I've done it again. Right, let's just fall off. There we go. Will respawn. 
The fact is, if I wasn't joking around and having number 69 as my number for every bike, I would have put number 7. Mainly because it would have only been like two clicks to actually change it, because it starts default as number 5. And I think that's hail outside my window. Lovely. Uh, I can't shut my window. I'm in the middle of recording. Brilliant. Ah, it should be okay for now, I think. If it gets too heavy, I'll pause the game or something. Oh, there you go. It's stopped. That was a very short amount of rain. Hail. Whatever. Yeah, we lost time because of that crash. But I should hopefully be able to gain it back, though. Because uh, within, like, two seconds, we were up there. Oh, and it's heavy again. I'm going to get onto this next straight, pause the game, and we'll restart the recording. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Just had to pause and sort out the window, but should be fine. Let's get that back. Come on. Coming up to the halfway point in this race as well. This is insanely long. And if we're doing like 20 minutes per race, I'm not going to be finished till half four. So. Oh, this breaking point. The game is supposed to give you a suggested time to break. So uh, for these bikes, the first corner and the second corner don't give you a breaking point. Which now means I've got four seconds to gain. Unbelievable. Breaking well before the 150 meter board. Very nice. Awesome. Good entry into that corner there. Rear tyres starting to go off a tiny bit. It's starting to go yellow. If these were soft tyres we or medium tyres, we would have been uh, getting into the red zone by now easily. Right, coming up to lap numero seven. Ow, I've really hurt my eye. I just scratched it to try and itch something out of it, and now I've fallen off my bike. But uh, I don't think that actually slowed us down too much. Ah, oh, that really hurt my eye, though. Jesus. Okay, we have lost a lot of time, though. Four seconds. Mm. Okay, it's push time, then. We've got four laps to catch up. Four laps should be fine. Okay, maybe not. There are sections where I'm really quick through. But there are also other sections where I am just diabolically slow. And I really don't want to do this again, because if I fail one of these races, that's my recording session done. And a fail is not coming first, so... 
Yeah. Because I don't have the strength and energy to go through multiple times doing these races. I'll just wait till tomorrow to redo it. The fact that the AIs don't feel anything to do with Tywear is a little bit disturbing. 3.5. We can definitely gain some time in this section a lot and the S bends. We gain a huge amount of time through here though. I mean look at that, the amount of distance we just gained. Right, once we cross the start line we need to look out. 150 meter board is perfect for all of these corners by the look of it. So much so that we gained so much time there. To be fair, I didn't realize on that first corner there was uh, 150 meter boards. I think this is one of the first tracks as well where I've actually used like on track references entirely. Look at that. Just entirely using on track references. I can get a much better time than using the actual game's references. But again, this track, the game has diabolical references. It, it doesn't know how this track works. And the game just can't recommend you a decent time to slow down. It's just like, yeah, slow down whenever. It doesn't really matter. It's not like you're going to go hurtling into a wall and die. That was a bit dark. Jesus. Right, three quarters of the way into the race. We are in first place now. This is the first time we've been comfortably in first place. Oh, little bit of a wobble. Kept it safe, though. Why are these boards now pointing in the opposite direction? That's so trippy. That shouldn't exist. Very nice. And his... Oh, we went past the board, I think. No, we didn't. Okay. I thought the board was earlier than that. It's fine, it's fine. Just about. Obviously, we're not going to be getting a fastest lap time anytime soon now. Because uh, tyres are a problem. Very good. Coming up to the final section of the race. I mean, this is definitely the most amount of racing I've done so far, like, in one go. Which is surprising, because this kind of length of race is, like, one of the low-end races of Gran Turismo 4. You do 10 laps around Mategi Circuit for, um, I think it's the Japanese GT Championship, which also takes about the same amount of time to do a lap for um, a fast car. The car gets a higher top speed, but it can't take the corners as quick as the bike. Especially the slower corners. You have to really slow down for it. Awesome. I wonder if we do get, like, special rider gear. Like, maybe... We get like one of the actual gears that we can take on any bike, not just this. So we get it as an unlock rather than an exclusive for the bike. Who knows? 
I've overshot the corner though. Let's reset. It is the final lap. And we do have a bike hot on our tail, so... One mistake and it could be game over. The rear tyres are starting to go orange. If these were mediums, they'd be red. Fully red on front and rears. And if it was softs, we would have been fully red by lap 5. Easily. Perfect. Very nice. Awesome. Final minute. One minute left. One minute left. Awesome. Nice little wheelie towards the finish. Let's slow down for the final corner. Take it nice and easy. And here we go. Time to go towards the finish line. And there we go, finished. Ta-da! 20 minutes and 12 seconds that took. That was an insanely long race. But the number 7 Honda did us proud. With no brake horsepower. Perfect. Couldn't ask for more. And here we go. We got a bonus. This is the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-12R Racing Modify. Awesome. Okay, so we do get uh, extra vehicles, which is pretty sick. What is special about this, though, that it had to be on these special machine bikes to earn? Oh, well. Uh, so next up is going to be New York. Uh, let's go grab ourselves the other bike. Uh, I have been doing it in order of manufacturer name. So uh, we're going to go grab this. Go to the bikes quickly and take a look at manufacturer. So obviously we got the 700. Next up we'll use the YSP and Presto. We'll go for this one here. It's a nice red bike. And it should say exclusive, yeah, exclusive riding gear to be used. Let's go. Uh, nope, I don't want to exit. I want to go to here. And scroll all the way to the bottom. Number 23. And we are going to be doing the YSP Presto around New York. Let's go. Right, here we go. We are at New York now. YSP Presto racing. The racing bike. It's time to go. Hopefully we have a good race here at New York. Obviously a very early breaking point for this corner based on the fact that there is a very tight hairpin corner here. And we're back off. Look at the map though. This map is stunning. It is such a beautiful track, New York. The city tracks Gran Turismo has always been able to do very well. Just because of the fact that they capture the realism of the fact that it is actually a city track it's not a full on track and we all know that because of the fact that it's made to feel like a city and obviously because of the fact that it's not on a circuit in the middle of nowhere like most racing tracks are I keep forgetting to mute my discord there we go
these corners are obviously very difficult for the AI to take. I think it's difficult for anyone to take, but the AI struggles big time, so I feel like that back section is where we could gain a lot of time. I have a feeling we could easily get the first place. That's not me being cocky, but the fact that the AI isn't that great around here. Um, so, but, obviously going slow isn't an option still because we need safety zone. Because of this being a circuit track, taking corners towards the inside, um, I like a circuit track where you can go to the curb and not worry about your helmet hitting anything. This, you have to watch out where your head is as well. Because otherwise you will end up hitting your helmet on the inside of a corner. And that is something we really don't want. Very nice. So obviously that rear section is going to prove to be very useful in... Um... Ah, close. Gaining safety time. Obviously, this is a much shorter track than the rest of the tracks with a 143 lap time. Which is pretty incredible, to be honest. I mean, look at that. Have you seen the amount we've just gained there? That is insane. Very nice. Obviously, this track is in Forza Motorsport. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, with this track, instead of taking... If you look on the map, you can see it goes down. It then goes straight back up on itself. And then it takes a... Quite sharp... Uh, nearly lost it. It takes a sharp right. While uh, on Forza Motorsport, it goes straight on through there uh, instead. Which, to be honest, I do prefer the Gran Turismo version of New York to the Forza Motorsport. Because Forza is just in a straight line. It's a little bit boring. Um, and Forza already has drag strips. Or it had it in this game. Obviously, they removed the New York track after a while. Very good. Did New York make its way into Gran Turismo 5 and 6? I think it might have. Well, I don't remember properly driving it. So it might not actually. Very much nearly just blew our race entirely there. Awesome. to hit that insane top speed is crazy but then we're always messing up our break point so I think before we start turning slightly right I think we need to be slammed onto the brakes there we go that was a good corner there nice nice Obviously, today's vid video is going to be long. Tomorrow's video is going to be long. Uh, the final video is not going to be as long. But it's going to be Suzuka, so that's about 23 minutes, probably. 24. 
so still quite long. Very good. Let's see how much top speed we can get out of this bike then. Without crashing. Too quick, too quick, too quick again. Oh, we got ourselves a penalty because of that. I mean, it was a deserved penalty, but like... Okay, they got acceleration. The fact that they were going through a very slow corner and we were already out of the corner... I feel like that benefited us slightly. Uh, all the That's why I was mentioning safety time. Because even though we didn't fall off, we got a penalty. If we fell off and got the penalty, we would have been. They would have been miles ahead of us. Second would have been miles ahead of us easily. They're close to our ass right now. Of course, they would have been miles ahead of us if we fell off as well. Perfect. Coming up to the halfway mark now for this race. Oh, close. My rider nearly had an extreme headache for a week. This is going to be just under 17 minutes as well, this race. We go much better breaking breaking zone there. This track is insane. I know I've already said it like fifty thousand times, but like New York in this game looks amazing. Perfect. Just after the 200 meter board seems to be just right for that breaking point. Big hop, skip, and jump. There isn't any reference points, though, like meter signs beforehand. Because it would be nice to see, like, a 400 meter sign for uh, this corner coming up. You see the two. Ah, oh, we got another penalty. Bugger. We fell off. Okay, we gotta gain that back. So we do see the 200 meter sign. If we stop, there it is there. There is some, like, sign a little bit earlier on as well. Okay, I feel like I know a breaking point that we could do on the next one that will get us as much speed through that hairpin as possible. This track wouldn't be able to go on, um official tracks like you wouldn't be able to make a street course like this with a hairpin turn that quick 
after a straight like that, it just wouldn't go. They wouldn't be able to do it. Because the rules would literally state there is not enough runoff zone in the event of a crash. I know city courses don't have much runoff zone in Formula 1 and stuff like that. But like that, even then, this wouldn't even pass touring car. There is nowhere near enough space for a crash. You crash at the end of that hairpin, you're dead. There is no recovery for you. Oh my god. Wow. We've taken that corner like that every single time, but this time it decides, nope, you're not allowed. Okay, I have the breaking point. I have the breaking point. So if you look to the left now, finally mastered it, you have the 200 meter sign there, but you also have a black sign, just a long black sign. Has nothing on it, but I'm using that as my reference point. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, uh, how are we going to do this then? Obviously, we're getting a lot of time through this section, so... Should be able to do it. And obviously, relying on the game's um, breaking point for that corner, because the game gives you a very decent one. Perfect. Ah, oh, that's so much distance. That is something the AI is not very good at, is taking that corner. Those rear tires, though, are looking very worn out, surprisingly. Oh, we're not on hard tires. I forgot to swap the tires out. There was a massive wobble there. No. How am I going to gain this final position then with these worn tires? No oh, bollocks. We've lost time already. That was totally my fault for not checking though. No wonder the tires have been feeling like crap the past few laps. I've been expecting the tyres to just last me, but they won't last. Not on the compound that we're on at the moment. Okay, so we still have the capabilities of gaining that time. So we need to push on this straight. We have one chance, one more lap. And I'm going to end up pushing it big time at maximum speed on these tyres that are nearly gone. I'm going to end up pushing it. We're going, we're going. We'll get the overtake easy because we are on a quicker bike, in theory. Because uh, the AI is crap. We're just on the lookout for this one board here. Obviously, we're breaking a little bit earlier than the AI. Okay. If we can just get this next corner nailed down perfectly. What was that? Why are you crashing into me? You can move over. Move over. 
Don't you be crashing into my bike. See, if the AI took my line, they would have a much better exit out of all of the corners. But they're giving themselves the crappiest exits ever. Yeah, that rear tyre is now bright red. There is no grip on it. Taking that last corner was a nightmare. How did I manage to forget? Uh, next bike, we're going to have to make sure that 100% it is on hard tyres. Perfect. Come on, here's the finishing straight. That was the most stressful last two laps we have had. I mean, except maybe the 125cc championship. That was a crazy final lap. But there we go. Over 17 minutes because of the fact that we had worn tyres. What a shame, though. And here we go. Another bike, the Yoshimura GS1000R Yoshimura. That looks horrendous. I don't like it. I'm sorry, I just did an 18 minute race on medium tires in a bike that wasn't wanting to drive. But that, nah, get out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.